Hello and welcome. This is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind The Country Chic Cottage. So today we're gonna to talk about making paper banners with your Cricut machine. Whether you're a Cricut beginner or more advanced, I'm gonna walk through the steps on making a simple paper banner and then you can customize it for your event. Now, this video is sponsored by Cricut. However, all projects and opinions are my own and I'm gonna use my Cricut Explorer today. This will work with any Cricut machine. So whatever Cricut machine you have, the instructions are basically the same thing and I'll go through differences for each machine. And then I'm going to use the Cricut foil poster board and you can kind of see that shine on this banner. You can use any paper you would like as well. So customize the banner itself. So we are gonna go through how to create the banner in Cricut Design Space. I'll link below to like this specific banner if you're wanting to make this exact one or use my canvas as a guide. You can do that as well. Or you can start with a fresh canvas, follow the instructions I'm about to give, and make your own custom banner in minutes. I am using mostly free shapes in Design Space, and then you can pick whatever font you want. And that way, even if you don't have access, this is a quick, easy, inexpensive project to get you started with your Cricut machine. So even if you just open that Cricut and got it out of the box, this might be the project for you. So let's get started first by taking a look at the supplies we're gonna need, and then we'll jump right into Design Space and look at how to design a banner on your Cricut. To make this project, you're gonna need a Cricut machine. Any of the Cricut machines will work for this. You're also going to need a light grip mat. So the blue Cricut mat is the light grip. And then you'll need some sort of cardstock. I'm gonna use foil poster board, the fairy tale sampler from Cricut, and I'm gonna use the pink and like the greenish blue here for mine. Definitely choose whatever paper you would like and whatever colors. And then you'll need glue to hold it together. I have a couple different options because I get asked all the time about the best glue for paper. The, what I'm probably gonna use is this Xyron sticker maker, and it's just the small disposable version should fit our pieces fine. If you wanted something different, this is a liquid glue that works really well for paper. It comes with like these little tips to make fine point tips. And the one I like is called Barely Art. So either one of these will work. Grab whichever one you like, or if you have another glue you like for paper, that will work fine as well. So let's head to Design Space and take a look at how to design your banner within Design Space, and then we'll cut our pieces. Open up Cricut Design Space to start your design. I'm gonna use basically mostly free images and fonts in Design Space so that anyone can do this. The first thing we're gonna do is open up images and type in banner. And once that opens up, head to ownership and check the free box. There are a few different options. I'm gonna use this option for the one I'm going to create. Feel free to make your own design and play around with this. So what I wanna do is unlock this button. And I'm gonna make one of these two by three. And then I'm going to duplicate and I'm going to make the other one three by three. And that's what happens if you don't unlock it. So don't panic. We're going to unlock and do three by three. So now we have two different sized banners. And we're going to make this out of two sheets of cardstock. One of those is going to be like a greenish blue. We'll make it that color. And the other one is going to be pink. And let's actually swap those, I think. And you can, if you want to get closer to the color of paper you're using, just to visualize your project, click this button on Advanced. And then you can really get into the color and change it to exactly sort of what you'll be using. So we're going to use paper that looks something like that. So now we have our two colors chosen. We can get a better idea of what we're doing. So now I want to spell a word. So we have our banner flags. Now I want to spell a word. So we're going to go to the text option and let's just type party to get started. Now, if the font that pulls up is okay with you, you can go with it. If not, you can click up here and find fonts. So all fonts are every single font. 
System fonts are ones that are on your computer, so those would be free. So feel free to scroll through these and find one you like. You can also go to Cricut fonts. You can click filter and you can filter for my fonts. There's going to be quite a few on mine because I have Cricut access. If you don't have Cricut access, if you click my fonts, just the free ones will show up. So I'm happy with this font choice and it is called announcement and it is a Cricut font. So I am going to make that pink and I want those to be, let's try two inches tall. Let's see how those look. So maybe a little smaller. And so that P looks good on that flag. We can leave this word together because we're going to cut them out of two sheets of paper anyway and glue them together but we will need flags for each of our letters. So we need five flags. So we can click duplicate and make five flags. So now I have five flags for each of my letters. Now I want to do a little something special on both ends, which is what this bigger banner flag is for. I'm gonna click images again We are going to type in circle. I still have free chosen if you'll notice that. And I'm, you can pick any of these once again, but I'm going to pick this version here and insert that. So this part is optional, so you could stop with the party and not do the ones on the end, but I thought we'd go just a, one step further with the banner. We are going to do a slice on this because I think it'll be a little bit easier to add to our banner flag. So this is three inches. So first, let's make this three inches. So then you have your three inch circle and you have a square that's over three inches. You're gonna drag that square over about halfway on that circle. This does not have to be perfect. Just play around with it, get it wherever you want it. Then drag and drop a box so that both the circle and the square are chosen and click slice. We can then delete away everything except the bottom portion of that circle and we are going to make that that same color green. And then we want two of those. So I want one for both ends. So again, I'm going to duplicate and pick the circle and duplicate. So now I have two of the circles, two of the end banners, a banner for each letter, and the letters spelled out in the font I would like. Now we are ready to click make it. Do you want to make sure that the machine you're using is chosen? Any of the Cricut machines will make this project. Just be sure to pick the machine that you're going to be using to make it. So I'm gonna use my Cricut Explore. And now we can click Make It. Because we changed everything to two colors, you will see that I just have two mats representing the two colors. The mats are the colors I made the pieces in Cricut Design Space, so I know which mat to load when. So I'll load my green color here and I'll load my pink here. So now we'll just click continue and connect our machine. Once you have your machine connected, then it's time to pick your material. So if on the Explore, if I change my dial to say cardstock, the Cricut Design Space will look something like this. But for this, I'm gonna use the foil poster board. So I suggest turning your dial to custom, then click browse all materials. And up here in the search box, do foil. And then you will find foil poster board and we'll just pick that and click done. So now the material is set to foil poster board. It tells me to load my fine point blade in clamp B and press the arrow button to load the mat. So let's take a look at our Cricut machine and how to cut this material. The first thing you want to do with your mat is remove the clear protective cover from the front and then we can add our poster board. So the green color, blue color, whatever you want to call this, is first. And you just want to line this up with the grid lines on your mat. 
and you're gonna press it down really well. So you want it to be stuck really well all over the mat. And then you can add this to your Cricut machine. Just kind of push slightly on the mat from this end and press the button. The mat will feed into the machine and we can press the C to cut. Once your machine's done, you just press the flashing arrow to unload your mat. Now some of these pieces came out as it was cutting. That's okay, the little bitty pieces. We're not worried about those anyway. We'll go ahead and remove our mat. And then the best thing to do is to flip your mat over and remove the material face down, peeling your mat back. This will make your paper not curl as much as you remove it from the mat. So just sort of hold the paper down and roll that mat back and all of your pieces will just come off as you peel it back. Then we have these small pieces. I did want to talk about removing, so you're going to have a bunch of scraps on your mat from those little bitty pieces. The best way to remove those is either with a scraper or a spatula. Either one, just sort of scrape your mat and scrape those up and then scrape them right into the trash. We'll just remove all those little scrap pieces. So I'm going to repeat the same cutting procedure on my other color of paper, exact same thing. So we can reuse this mat. We're going to clean off all these scraps, add the pink paper down, cut it with our Cricut machine in the same way, and then we'll remove the pieces and we'll talk about assembling this little banner with the pieces we've cut. Now let's assemble our banner. So the first thing I wanted to point out was these slits in the banner that are for your string or ribbon or whatever. They are really, really small. So I like to poke through them with just a weeding tool just to make sure they're all the way open before we get started. So I've done that already in the blue and I'll just repeat that on the pink. And then I like to glue everything together first and then we're gonna add it to some string. So I just have some pink string and I went ahead and threaded like a really large needle on it. That way um, I could thread them through these holes easily. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is spell our word, which was party. And we're gonna use this Xyron adhesive. Again, you could use regular glue, whatever you like to do your paper crafts. That's what I would recommend at this stage. We just need adhesive on the back of all of the letters and these um, circle pieces. So I'm just gonna feed my letters through here. And what this does is makes the letters into a sticker. And then I can go ahead and feed through these circle pieces just while I have this out. And we'll talk about assembling those in a minute. And for this adhesive, you just sort of rub the top. And we'll just peel back this cover. And now we can start assembly. So for each of these letters, I'm gonna peel it back and just put it right onto the center of each of our party flags. And we'll repeat that for each letter. And you do wanna make sure that you get them in approximately the same location. So I like to line my flags up and then add the next letter. So once you have all your letters in place, let's repeat this same thing for those end flags and these circle pieces. And these just line up with the top, remember? Because they are lined up at the top and they're just as wide as our banner flag. 
And now we just need to string the banner. So to do that, we'll just lay everything out. I always lay it out in order, so hopefully I don't get it messed up. And then start on one end and work your way through. So I like to go through the slit on the left and then up through the slit on the right. And then just repeat for each of these. And if you pull it through enough where it's gonna go through your whole banner, that'll make it a little bit easier. So down to the left, up to the right. And then once we're done, I'm just going to leave some excess on both ends. And we have a cute party banner all within a few minutes, all with our Cricut. So I told you this is gonna be easy, super easy project, perfect for those of you that are beginners, or if you are just searching around, wondering how to make a banner because you've never made one before, Again, I hope this tutorial helps you. If you have any questions about anything we've covered at all, please feel free to drop down in the comment section and ask away. If you have questions about your Cricut machine in general, I'd be happy to answer those as well with either an answer in the comment section or I can also point you in the direction of a video that might help you that I've made in the past. Now, down below this video, I have a description. You might have to click show more. If you're on mobile, there's like a couple of dots that you click. There's a full description with supplies that I used as well as a link to my Cricut project if you want that as an example or just wanna use that to make your banner. If you like this video and it helped you, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We have Cricut videos every week and I know you don't wanna miss any of those. So thank you so much for joining me and break out that Cricut, make a paper banner this week.